Damon, are you ready? I, I'm just, I'm blinded by the jewelry. Are you? Dude. It's Christmas, I'm so festive right now. You are. <laughs> and I'm trying, I'm gonna make sure not to piss you off because I'm Why? gonna get punched in the face with this. Thing. Why would I want to scratch my jewelry by engaging in violence with you? Oh wow, she doesn't that's care. where we're gonna start this thing. Yeah. Yeah. Have a fight between co-stars. Look out. <laughs> I just picked this up last week at a charity auction for the Audubon Society. What do you think? It's bad. Uh, <clears throat> what I mean is, it's really bad. Like, it should be named why cocktails should be banned at charity auctions. This movie is like, it's a little jingle all the way. Okay. It's a little liar liar. Suddenly I can't lie. That's hysterical. You work in politics. Oh, it's very funny. And then it's... A little love actually rom-com vibes. Boom. Ooh. You just nailed it. Yes. But if you had to sum it up with just three words, what would those words be? Best movie ever. Wow. Mm -hmm. That's four words, but yes. Wow. Mm -hmm. Wow. Best okay. movie ever. Best movie ever wow. and wow, wow, wow. I mean. Yeah, that's three wows. So yeah. It's like, can't top that. No, you can't. That's three words. Can't, can't top, top that. that. There we go. Boom. That should be. Can I, can I steal that one? Yeah. Can't top that. Can't, can't, can't top that. <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, you're going to MC Hammer it out of here? <laughs> yeah. Uh, I love it. I can't wait to introduce you to my family before the campaign starts. I made something special for you. The Toxic Stew. That's what they called it when they warned me about it on the telephone. Is the pressure on? Because you guys are the first of the original movies to hit the air. Yes. It's because we're the best. There you go. This guy, yeah. No. Can't top that, right? No, you can't, can't top that. that. Wow, wow, wow. Hey, what I love about this movie is that it's one of those times where you have an instinct about something, you read it, it's funny, it's great. I love the director, Jake Harris. He specializes in comedy. So reading this and knowing I was gonna work with him, I thought, this is gonna be really good. This is gonna be really good. And it actually turned out as great as I hoped. There's a stand-up comedy scene. Oh, in God. <laughs> Was that scripted or is that like, did you bring that act to the table? Hmm, that's a very good question. Yeah, that's a very good question. So originally there was a moment in the script where my character has some hidden talent. The network kind of decided, do you have any, any weird talents? And I thought, well, maybe I have some weird talents, but what one would I want to actually do, you know, on camera? Or people watch, see. Yeah, you know, like what would be interesting to watch? And so. With Jay's background, um, you know, in directing comedies and a lot of stand-up stuff, and with my background in comedy and having done stand-up before, I shared with him a story of how I tried to do stand-up and enjoyed it, and then one day, I just thought that I didn't want to do it anymore. And he said, you know, why? Why'd you feel like that? I said, I don't know. Just one day, I went to a comedy club, and I was going to go up and do a set, and I just decided I didn't want to. He's like, that's it because that's what your character is going through in the movie, so you get to really see that in that one scene with that character. It's, it's the truth of her creativity and maybe how she feels about being able to communicate honestly, both on stage and with her boyfriend's family. You took it way deeper than I thought it would, but I love it. She likes to do that. Yeah, I like to... <laughs> <laughs> I just Security! got that, took a second. Oh my god! This, uh, this is the kind of comedy that I don't like because it's like, you know, it's just so... This is freeform. It's family friendly. You know here. what yeah. I mean? I, I was totally family friendly. <laughs> I don't know where you guys took it. Yeah, like starting family That's on you. <laughs> that's on YouTube. In the spirit of the film, can we play a little game of Two Truths and a Lie? Oh holiday edition? I want you guys to say two things you do at the holidays and one thing that's a made up lie right now and then you have to guess each other's because you guys know each other. I don't know you, I just met you. Okay. Yeah, so I each of us two truths. Yeah, so two truths lie. and one lie about your holidays. Okay. Two Go. truths and a lie. I eat macaroni and cheese. I go roller skating. And I love going to the movies. Uh, movies and roller skating are truths. Macaroni and cheese is a lie. <laughs> is it I, thought it was a, I thought it was a trick question. Let's roller try a trick answer. That was a trick. What about roller skating says Christmas holiday? I don't know, I just felt like that would be like ice you. Ice skating. Thank you. Thank I just felt like you would be, do something you know, weird like that. You looked at me and thought, this is someone who doesn't like macaroni and cheese. No, no, no. This is what I have to deal with. That's what I, you because she does, she eats everything else. All right, fine, you're right, I don't pay attention. You're such a jerk. <laughs> I don't think so. I think I'm pretty, pretty dreamy, actually. I love how um, excited you were after I called you a jerk. I know. <laughs> you're yeah. like, yes, I uh, mean. Two truths and a lie, okay. Um, I eat scones, 
I wear pajamas for three days and I play football outside. Uh, you don't eat scones. That's the lie. I don't play football outside. You don't play football outside, you no, play inside? Nobody in my family likes to play football. I always want to play football, nobody wants to play, but okay. I do wear pajamas for three days. I'm that came from that. a deep and emotional eat, place. He's I looking eat, for someone yeah, to play football Yeah, please, with him. Oh somebody God. come play football. I just want to play football. We got really deep in here, you guys. I know, but I eat a lot of scones. You do? That yeah. I just didn't, because I didn't see you eat one scone I know, on man. Set. Well, it was summertime when we shot it. Binges so. at, the, at the holidays. Wait, so are you like in your trailer, like between takes, like, nom, 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 like just <laughs> stuffing scones in your mouth, yeah. like hidden scones? If it's Christmas time, yeah. That's so weird. You have like a hidden scone fetish, and I don't know how I feel about like finishing this interview now. Well, I mean, we have to finish it. Yeah, but you have to share the scones. You can't just eat them by well, yourself. Well, let's in hang a out closet. at Christmas time and I'll share a half a scone or something. <laughs> there we go. All right, the truth um, about Christmas brought out a lot of truths today, guys. That's right. It really did.